Hi, this is Miranda with Magic City Mama, and today I have a um, first impressions, and I have in my hands the new reformulated Ritual Defi uh, Three Drop Weightless Serum Foundation, and in the color, oh, it's oh no, <laughs> no, it says press me on the bottom. Oh no, oh no, because look what I have. Here. Here. This is the Surratt Dewdrop Foundation. And um, yeah, I actually uh, tore a hole in that with my fingernails like the second time I actually used it. So I'm hoping this is not going to be one of those situations. Oh my God. I literally hate that packaging. Like the Surratt packaging to me is like one of the worst freaking packaging like out there. Okay, Ugh, focus. I also got this, the Creature of Light um, Soft Glow Enhancer in the color Lustrous Creature. They had three of these. One was like, I was having trouble deciding between the lightest one and this one. The lightest one was like kind of a, um, like a shift, like a duochrome, like a whitish bluish color, I think, or like violet, like purpley color. And I wasn't sure if I wanted that, especially now going into summer, but I do want to see how this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. All right. After skin, okay, here's what it says on the bottle. Let's just read that together. After skincare, dispense one to two pumps onto your fingers and massage gently onto the face and neck and decollete. Wear, a, wear as one and done skin finish to create a radiant natural effect. Apply over thorn or priming facial elixir to create an unreal luminosity. Use as a primer under foundation for a soft diffuse glow. Oh, actually that reminds me. Mine kind of turned orange because I guess the colors, the pigment got mixed. But yeah, let's go ahead and use some of this. Might as well make it a ritual defeat kind of day. I'm just going to the park. My makeup doesn't have to last. That is a rosy, definitely a rosy smell. Alrighty. I did notice the other day my forehead was looking a little dry. I took today off. I went to a morning Pilates class and I walked all the way there, which is it's quite it's quite a ways away in this in the Florida heat. I walked all the way there. I did my hour long exercise class and it was like jumping. It was like the springboard class, which I didn't even realize I had signed up for that. Cause I just sign up for like whatever's available sometimes cause it's hard to find an open class. And then I walked all the way back. I stopped at two stores to get some things and walked all the way back and I was drenched in sweat. Okay, so I'm gonna try under makeup first. So I'm gonna There it is. I'm gonna use a brush. And this had really good reviews. Oh. Okay. So it feels, it feels watery. It feels more watery than I expected. So I'm gonna put this it smells like, I don't know, some kind of weird old lady soap or something. Sorry, I hope that wasn't rude, but yeah, it has a kind of a soapy smell. All right, so I'm gonna just use my fingers because that's what it says. I think with the brush, it just absorbs a lot of product because it is more, it feels more water, watery. Okay. So this is just the priming oil and the Creature of Light Soft Glow Enhancer. Now the other glow enhancer I have is this one, the RMS Beauty Master Radiance Base. And I do actually really like how this product looks. And you see the color is very similar. Whoa. The color is similar. They're both like a kind of a soft gold color. Um, 
but this one I feel like it's going to be easier to use all over your face without feeling greasy and this one I really use as like a, a, a really like a pinpoint highlighter so right here in the tops of my cheeks right around here on my nose here and it stays exactly where I put it so I don't have to use it all over my face and I actually feel like it would feel kind of greasy all over my face if I were to use that so but there's two products and I, and I think that they basically do the same thing all right so now I'm gonna try the foundation wish me luck so what color did I get does it say press me I'm trying to figure out made in the USA oh Potion number 115. This is the name of the color right here. I was really not sure. Please don't break. Please don't break. One, two, three. That was about three, right? Okay, let's let's see. Now let's see if I can use it with my brush. Okay. So this... And I'm going to have to feel that with my fingers. This feels... Whoa. Hold on. I may need a sponge for this one. This one is a lot thicker. It's not thick per se, but it has a little bit of a more... Um, let me see. Like a little bit more oily. And, and by the way, this comes out way easier than the Surratt. The Surratt, you really have to press on this trampoline part, which is made of really thick, um, thick rubber. Yeah, I don't know if that's silicone or oil. I feel, I feel like it's more oil because it's not so much of a, like, slip that's staying, like, on the outside of my skin, like, on the outer layer. It's, Let's see. Let's see if it blends. So this is with the Creature of Light underneath. So it's gonna be extra glowy. And maybe another time I'll try it without. So, I don't know. I'm seeing like... It's not blending. I don't know if it's because I put too much of that creature of light. But oh my god. Let's use my fingers. Maybe it just it needs to be warmed up. You know, they talked it up so much about all the wonderful things this serum foundation was going to be doing for my skin. I just don't have a lot of luck with these Ritual Defeat products. I don't know, maybe I'm just not the target audience. You know, like if your skin has any texture or discoloration it's just not looking it's not looking cute look at that oh man it's it's just it's sitting in my pores no 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 that's not cute I don't know if it's because of the product I use underneath it, but it said, sorry, I have like a flake. It said you could use it as a primer as well, so that shouldn't be an issue. But I just do not think that that was looking cute underneath. I'm gonna use some of this under my eyes.
I'm definitely seeing the glow. And, but now I'm wondering if maybe I should pick one primer and not both. Like maybe the oil, maybe the oil primer is just not mixing well with the rest of the products. Look at my nose. Oh man. Okay, not gonna lie, not loving this at all. I do wanna try it with a different primer and put the glow maybe on top. But God, look at my nose. It just looks like makeup, bad makeup. It's like grabbing onto everything. All right, I'm gonna wash this off and I'm gonna try again. Okay, on second thought, I went over to my other mirror with a more yellow light and somehow it looked better over there. I don't know if it's because these lights are very harsh and very white and they're just showing more than but my, now I'm curious to see it outside. I wanna see how it looks outside. And then when I see how it looks outside, if it looks terrible, then I'm gonna try it a different way next time. So let's just go ahead and let's do, see the other, the other, um, the other highlighter, the liquid highlighter was kind of like one of these, but I'm gonna use phosphine. Oh, you know what I should have used I should have used this mm, yeah I don't think I'm going to use it now because I think I already let's see maybe I use it here but not now I'm, I'm in the middle of talking get dressed can you stop talking for a second I need to get edit I need to, edit. I need to walk over here what? Go ahead. I need to go grab my glass. Alright, so I'm going to use the Rare Light Cream Highlighter in color Phosphine. Just like a pinky beige. And I'm going to just add that extra glow right there. Then I'm going to take the Color Nectar Pigment Balm in the color Hummingbird. And this is like more of a sheer tint. And they describe this as a watermelon, I think. But I feel it's more of a orangey red. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my lips. To me, watermelon is more pink. Oh, and I haven't even used a powder yet, so let me put on a powder. Okay, this can get interesting. I'm going to use a light powder. Usually I like to put cream products on top of a powder, and because I'm too busy thinking about 
fixing this, I totally forgot. And I will take this outside to check. I'll show you guys how it looks in the sun. Okay. Ooh, where's my eyebrows? Let's do my eyebrows real quick. You know, oh, I live in Florida and I live in Miami. Miami is quickly become like one of the most expensive and least affordable cities in the United States. Even more so than New York in a sense because in New York the rent is very high but the pay is better. Not saying that it keeps up, but here the pay is very low and the rent is very high. And I'm just starting to really feel like the squeeze, you know, like really starting to feel pinched and really the squeeze. And it's just like landlords, they just raise the rent just because they can. They don't really have to. Like, my landlord owns this property. He was born here, pretty much. He's lived in this house all his life. Um, but they still see it as they're losing money if they don't keep raising rent all the time. And, you know, people like me just see it as greed. You know, I understand taxes go up and things like that, but... It doesn't go up by the amount of money that they're asking for. Let's just put it that way. In the last two years, my rent has gone up by $900. Yeah, it went up by $500 last year. And it's just gone up another $400. And in their minds, like, they're giving me a break on the price. So they feel like they're getting less than what they could actually ask for. Because I, I believe they told me they were going to ask for 3300 And they're only asking me for 3000 for my apartment. And, you know, this, at this point, I was kind of in a bind because my oldest is finishing her last year of high school. And I really didn't want to have to move. Um, before she finishes so you know I was really trying to just stay here in the house for one more year but I feel like I don't know DeSantis he's you know trying to control every aspect of people's lives their bodies what they read what they can say what comes out of their mouth you know but like why doesn't he control the rents here like that's the one thing that really needs controlling if you ask me, I'm a renter, okay? I'm sure landlords will tell you something different, okay? But as a renter, instead of controlling my uterus, what I read, what I say, please control some rent around here. <laughs> this, I mean, I don't plan to live in, in this city um, after this year. Like, I just don't feel like it's attainable for me anymore. I don't feel like it's worth it. Not that even it's attainable, it's just... Is it really worth it for me to, to spend so much of my time and energy working just to spend it on rent and really not have any, any money to do anything else with? Okay, I'm going to use the color Garland on my eyes. You know, it's like you work and you work and, you know, you hope you be able to, like, enjoy life a little, go on vacations save some money, you know. But things, this is kind of a purple. I don't know, it used to be more purple in the jar too, which is really weird, but I think Garland is actually, was like a limited edition color and it was a purple. But it looks, in the jar, it looks almost peach, which is weird. And that's not the peach because I have another one that looks peach. Or maybe, no, maybe it is peach. Maybe it's this one that's supposed to be the purple. I'm so confused, but these definitely have changed colors. 
while sitting here in the dark drawer, um, the colors have changed. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see here. I feel like the colors have shifted. And, which is weird because usually that kind of thing happens when they're in the light. But it's been, nope, it's been here in a drawer in the dark. So yeah, that was my rant on rent. It's just every year, it's, it's crazy. I just don't know what's gonna happen when people just can't afford it anymore. I don't know who's gonna be living here it's like everybody wants to charge you luxury prices for just average apartments. You know, I could understand if it was like a luxury apartment and I have that kind of money and, you know, I was renting renting a luxury place. But, you know, my place is cute. Don't get me wrong. But it's not luxury. I want to put this on my inner corner, but I'm afraid my brush is dirty from the other color, and I don't want to put a dark color on my inner corner. This one is the Ara. It's the Ara. It's like an eye gloss, and I was feeling like the color Garland was looking a little flat. Now I'm not thinking that this eye and this lip go together. What was I thinking? I don't know. I don't know. I was getting carried away. Well, luckily I'm just going to the park. I'm not going anywhere for special. <laughs> but yeah, I had another color for the cheek, um, which probably would have gone better with this eye look. And I have Lovesick, which is more of a mauve. I'm wondering, should I throw that on instead? Today is just... This look is not vibing. Okay. Let's see if I can rescue this. I do like the hummingbird color, but I just feel like it wasn't, I don't know, it was like warm and cool together and it was bugging me. Not like any of the kids at the park are going to notice, but I'll notice. Yeah, see, this is the peach color. This one is called Charm, and this one is really peach, but for some reason, the other one was looking peach in the jar. But when I put it on, it still looks kind of mauve -y. These are not, um, the other one was kind of like more of a glossy. This one is more of a cream. It's pretty stiff. It's a pretty stiff cream. It's probably a little dirty. That's the one thing about cream is when you have pets, it's that any stray pet hair that you have floating through the air at any moment in time is going to end up on the surface of your cream. It's just, it's just the laws of nature. Like I don't make the rules, you know? Okay, do I want an eyeliner? That is the question, to be or not to be. Instead of doing a sharp line, I think I'm gonna do a not sharp line. I'm gonna do a stick. Let's see if it comes out.
Look at my grinds again. And now I'm gonna try to find a nice thickening mascara. Let's do the RMS Straight Up Mascara. But I like how this mascara, I feel like it separates and thickens so it doesn't get clumpy. I'm gonna clean that later. You know what it is? I had a hair. I have three cats, by the way, and a dog, so besides that, I probably shed a good deal. So it's just life of, with hairs flying everywhere. You know, as much as I'm always looking for like the Holy Grail um, concealer, like that Maybelline Age Rewind concealer is so good for the money. And I had used this a long time ago and I don't know what happened. I got inspired in the store and I was like, you know what? Let me just try this again. I seem, I remember liking it and I bought it and I used it and it's just, it's so good. All right. It's just it's got a nice consistency where it's not too thick and it doesn't enhance your fine lines. It's not sponsored by the way, which is always like one of my issues. Like I feel like a lot of concealers, they look dry under the eye and um, cakey. And this one, I feel like it really doesn't. Okay, so now that we change the color story a bit, what lipstick should I wear with this? Maybe this one? This is just one I got in my um, RMS Beauty mystery box. It's not bad. Wolfie. It's my cat. One of my cats, my old cat. All right, so now let's take this outside and see how it looks. Okay, so here is outside. I'm gonna go in the shade here. This is the foundation, it's about I don't know, roughly five o'clock, so I'm not in the full Florida Miami sun. Um, but I am curious to see how this looks without the underglow, you know, the glow underneath, but it, it is very glowy. It's actually kind of nice, but I'm wondering if I just use it on the areas like I used the other one, um, the RMS one, instead of using it all over so that I can kind of control where the shine is. So I don't just look oily. What do you think? It is still a little crusty here. Maybe I need to exfoliate. Bye.